It's time now for Look Lace and Local Sports and Sports. Georgia fans are celebrating across the state as the Georgia Bulldogs got that monkey off their backs, beating Alabama Nick Saban in the national championship game, 33-18 to in the final. First title since Fizz Dooley's 1980 Georgia Dogs did it back with Herschel Walker. It's a great scene after the game with Dooley and Kirby Smart embracing on the field. So all those years of frustration have now ended as Georgia's program under Kirby Smart with the great recruiting is paying dividends that Georgia fans were hoping for. Mailman Stetson Bennett criticized and questioned all year, wins back-to-back MVP honors in both the Orange Bowl and the National Championship game. After a sack and fumble, comes back and drives the dogs with two touchdown drives to take the lead. And then freshman Keely Ringo's pick six seals the deal, and Georgia wins the championship. Bennett now a folk hero as he and Buck Blue, the two-side Georgia quarterbacks, lead the dogs to the promised land. Bennett last night, 17-26 for 224 yards and two touchdowns. Motion's got the best of him as he broke down crying on the sidelines as the dog sealed the victory. Reporters finally acknowledging after the game that this story is the best in sports. A walk-on, a kid who was told time and time again, even from his own head coach, that he would never start for Georgia. Persevered, continued to work, continued to believe, and fulfilled his dream. Narrative all year from the national media was that Georgia could never win a national title with Bennett quarterback. But they can't measure the heart of a man who believes in himself and his ability, just goes out and works and works and works and relishes his teammates and wins the national championship. The mailman delivers and forever will be a national champion. Kid who broke a 41-year-old drought and put smiles on the faces of Georgia fans across the nation. It's a great story. It's a great feeling. Georgia Bulldogs number one, first the Braves, now the Dogs. Year 2022 off to a great start. As Georgia fans say all the time, it's great to be a Georgia Bulldog and national champions Thanks to the mailman. High school football banquet <clears throat> is set for this Thursday night. High school cafeteria time, 6 p.m. Fence open to the public. Tickets are $10 each. And that's this coming Thursday night at the high school, the annual high school football banquet. Reminder that on January 18th from 530 to 730, the public's invited to a meet and greet the new head football coach, Jay Bo Shaw. He'll be on hand at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Public invited to come out and meet the coach. Again, that's a week from today, Tuesday, January 18th, from 5.30 to 7.30, the Altamont Steak and Seafood. A little over a month away from the Wayne County Touchdown Club's $10,000 drawing. The event set for the Pine Forest Country Club Saturday before the Super Bowl. That's just, that's Saturday, February the 12th. Tickets for the drawing on sale, $100 each. Available at Prime South Bank, Parker Insurance Realty, the Trademark, and OCTS are from several Touchdown Club members. Tickets on sale. They always go fast. So make certain you have your ticket for the drawing again. Super Bowl Saturday, February the 12th at the Pine Forest Country Club. Wayne County High School swim team were participating in the Savannah Country Day Invitational this past Saturday at the Chatham County Aquatic Center. They had two events qualify for state. The girls 200 free how the, the girls 200 freestyle relay. Brooklyn Hankins, Kylie Velosen, Cassie Velosen, and Gracie Velosen. Time of 151.41. And Benjamin Thomas qualified in the individual event, 100 freestyle, with a time of 50.91. Lady Jackets placed fifth overall out of 12 teams. The Jackets boys placed an overall fifth out of 13 attending teams. Some of the individual events, Braxton Westbury finished sixth in the 100 butterfly, time of 102. Benjamin Thomas won. Came in first in the 100 freestyle with a time of 50.91. Jack Trapman finished 10th in the 100 freestyle with a time of 101.48, a personal best. Brooklyn Hankins finished in 11th place in the 100 breaststroke, 1, 1 minute and 28 seconds, a personal best. Cassie Vlosen finished in 20th place in the 50 freestyle, personal best time of 29.68. Gracie Velosen had a personal best in the 50 freestyle, 29.84. Natalie Hendricks had a personal best in the 200 freestyle, time of 255.47. Riley Rush had a personal best in the 100 freestyle, time of one, excuse me, time of 120.16. And Emily Shelfin had a personal best in the 200 freestyle with a time of 241.96. Again, the swim team. Ecstatic about the girls' relay team and Ben Thomas earning state cuts. Also proud that many swimmers achieved their personal best performance at the meet. Next meet will be the regionals on Wednesday, January 19th. Those take place in Coffee County. Finally in sports, Black Monday in the NFL. Several teams fired their head coach. Miami, Minnesota, Chicago all said goodbye to their head coach. Giants are expected to follow sometime this week. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.